this is a big year for Canada, and uh, I always like to talk about uh, it's our 150th birthday wow. um, since we became a country. And I always say it all started in Atlantic Canada. The first meeting was in Prince Edward Island at the Charlottetown Conference in 1864. Wow. And uh, then Nova Scotia and New Brunswick, which are two of the original provinces of Canada, were at that conference and we became a country in 1867. Wow. And uh, then Newfoundland and Labrador is in our area and they were the last province to join Canada. Now, interestingly enough, Prince Edward Island didn't join right away. They waited to make sure it was gonna work. So they <laughs> held the conference. So, you know, we have a lot going on there a lot of our early history of Canada began right there in Atlantic Canada where I'm from and really we're specialists in the four provinces we have uh, guaranteed departure trips that we run throughout the entire uh, season which uh, is really late May through mid-October and uh, we can go uh, with programs as short as a couple days up to a 23-day tour doing the entire region and if you haven't been, we have lots of must-sees. I've met a lot of motor coach groups that are wanting to expand into Western Canada. So as the RCMP Heritage Centre, of course, they want to come see our attraction, but also all the local attractions in Saskatchewan, some of them on their way to Banff and Alberta as well. So it'll be actually really great to pull new business all across Western Canada. When people come to Canada, it's not just for one attraction, they have a lot to see in Canada. So it's great to have multiple representations here, multiple different attractions, different tour companies, um, so it'll be great. So yeah, we'll have to pull together and help people create itineraries that are uniquely Canadian. 